Hello there and welcome to the final of World's Strongest Man 2011. We're here at Wingate University in North Carolina and we've had an absolutely fantastic week. The big guys have been pulling, picking up, throwing kegs around. Pretty typical week at college really, but we're down now to the last 10 men who are going to battle for the big prize. There are two Englishmen among them, Terry Hollands and Lawrence Shirley. There's also what is indisputably the toughest lineup we've ever had in the finals. Heading the list of contenders, the two odds-on favourites. Reigning champion and two-time winner, Zadruna Savickas, the Big Z. He's been called the strongest man ever. A third consecutive title here in the USA would certainly back that claim up. From America, Brian Shaw. The six foot eight inch former college basketball star narrowly missed out on the title in 2010 on cowback. He's most definitely out to set the score straight here in his homeland. Don't rule out the other contenders. The Englishman Hollands and Charley will have a part to play, but this one's far too tight to call. Ahead of the first event of the final, let's join Caroline Pierce, who's with our two Englishmen. Thanks, James. Yes, it's going to be one of the toughest finals we've ever seen, and there's two Englishmen in the field. Very proud to have Lawrence and Terry here. So, Lawrence, you're looking very focused at the moment. How are you feeling ahead of the challenge? Yeah, a um, little bit nervous, obviously. You know, the first event of the final, and I want to do well this year, so just a little bit pensive and just looking forward to getting started. Good. And, Terry, it was a little bit of a more difficult qualifying for you. Right until that last event, you were a bit touch and go. So has that affected your preparation at all or your mindset? No, I wouldn't say so. I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I've been in a fight already and I know I'm going to have to fight to try and get on the podium or win this. So I've got that sort of frame of mind going and I think it's actually a positive thing. Great. We're talking about frames. You've got the steel frame carry to begin with. It's a very good event for both of you. And what are you looking to do in this first event? Just try and get as fast a time as possible, hopefully get the win. I've got to move pretty quickly because I'm worried about my grip going towards the end with the very thin handles. But, um, yeah, just try and get it done as quickly as possible and hope that I can pick up a good few points. Well, here we go. The steel frame carry our first event. 75 seconds, the time limit. And the frame weighs over 800 pounds. 375 kilos. You've got to carry it as fast as you can oh, over Serbia, 30 metres. Evan Katona in his second World's Strongest Man final. Iceland, Solvi Peterson. The giant Stefan Solvi Pedersen of Iceland. A massive man. Welcome from Iceland, Haftor Bjornsson. Haftor Bjornsson, another Icelander, an absolute giant at six foot nine inches tall. The very impressive Mike Jenkins from the USA, from Hershey in Pennsylvania. Terry Hollands. Terry Hollands. Sixth World's Strongest Man final. That is some record. He's not so small either. Take your grip! There's a lot of tension down there. Well, this is what they've all been training for. The World's Strongest Man final and Terry Hollands off to a real flyer. They've got to turn round now and bring it back as fast as possible. Outstanding by Hollands, but he's fading a little bit. It's Mike Jenkins, he's gonna win this one. Goodness me. Makes no mistake, throws it over the finish line, and Pedersen in second. And Terry Hollands, Katona, and Bjornsson just stranded on the course still. Bjornsson there saying he's finished. Terry Hollands, though, having all sorts of problems. I think he has a problem with his grip. And looking at his hands, finished, it's likely finished. he's torn the calluses off his fingers, and that will be very painful. But what a performance by America's Mike Jenkins. After all, Bjornsson there, 3.5 metres only. That's a very That's poor a performance. And Solvi Pedersen currently in second place with a time of 23.25. Terry Hollands will be disappointed with that. Almost completed the course, but almost is not quite enough. Well, look at Mike Jenkins again, Paul. What a stunning start. And as soon as you put it down or drop it, it's a real hardship to get it up again, especially with damaged hands. Vitanis Lalas. Lalas of Lithuania, absolutely superb in the heat. The giant policeman, Derek Poundstone, always popular and always a great competitor. From England, Lawrence Chalet. Lawrence Chalet of England, from Gloucester. 
determined to do well in this final. The giant Brian Shaw of the United States, bidding to become one of a small handful of Americans who've ever won this title. But he's going to have to take it away from Zidrinus Zaviskas, going for a third consecutive World's Strongest Man title. He is the man to beat. Nearest the camera, Zaviskas starts as favourite. Away we go. And Brian Shaw there having to trail in the wake of Lauren Charley of England. Brilliant start by the Englishman. Can he get a good turn? Well, he wasted no time at all. This is great news for England. And Charley, does he drop it? No. That is a fantastic start by Lauren Charley. And here comes Brian Shaw. Brian Shaw has to give way to the Englishman. And Javiscus, well, he's having a look across there at Lalas and just brings it home. He's got to get it over the line, says the referee, just. 41-28 for Zaviskas, but it wasn't a great performance, and Derek Poundstone has got all sorts of problems. Lalas too, but in the end, there was only one man who could do the course quickly, under 20 seconds, Lauren Charlet of England. Zaviskas, 41-28. Good performance, but only good enough for fifth place. And Derek Poundstone doing the same as Terry Holland, tearing his hands to shreds. Lalas in seventh place. And Brian Shaw, he's got some work to do. Fourth place after the first event. Well, for those who went really quickly like Charley, there was no time to tear their hands. Just a great grip and incredible foot speed. Brilliant start for the Englishman. Well, that's quite a celebration, and I bet the start you were hoping for. Yeah, definitely. I was um, originally when they said the frame was in the final. I was confident, you know, it's a good event for me. But these guys are just so good. You never know what's going to happen. And um, I was a little bit worried about how wide they were. Kind of suits the taller guys. But I've got a really strong grip. Train it hard. So paid off in that event. Good start, second place. Mike put in a fantastic performance. Beat me by half a second. So you know, I'm happy with second. Lawrence Charley living up to the form guide here in North Carolina, and Mike Jenkins continuing his tremendous qualifying form. The big surprise, meanwhile, Shaw, Sir Vickers and Hollands all well off the pace. It's been an eventful opening, and there's literally tons of action still to come. After the break, the main contenders for the title will take on the giant tyre carry and the truck ball. Welcome back to World's Strongest Man from Wingate University, where five more feats of strength await our athletes. Well, it's time now for us to say hello to the legendary Bill Kazmaier, winner of three consecutive World's Strongest Man titles. Bill, interesting start to this year's finals. No, great for England with Lawrence Charley, but what a surprise with uh, Branshaw and Big Z. Yeah, no surprise for me with Lawrence. You know, he may not look like this big muscle-bound, uh, beautiful-bodied guy, but inside, he's super strong here, really brilliant, and very, very strong throughout his body. As far as Z and Brian Shaw, I'm surprised that they didn't go one and two, so this is right. going to be one great race. OK, well, we saw the first event put a lot of pain on the athletes' hands, rip calluses, that kind of thing. Up next, the giant tyre carry. What would they pick one of these up at a time, roll it down? No, James, so let me show you. All Here's right. what they do. They simply slip underneath. They take the full weight on their shoulders and arms, step up, and head down 25 metres. We're talking 450 kilos, 1,000 pounds down a 25-metre course. Seriously? This is excruciating. The pain of the body, the hips, the ankles, the knees will be knocking. Oh, it's one tough race. I want to see this. Thanks very much, Bill. Back to our commentators. Kazmaier is not wrong there. 75 seconds, the time limit. And as he said, 1,000 pounds, that's 450 kilograms. The length of the course, 25 metres. Iceland, Stefan Solvi Pedersen in third place. He's still a young man. He's got many years to go in strongman events. Terry Holland's disappointed after ripping his hands to shreds in that first event. Sixth place. Well, that's what's happened so far. Disappointment for Derek Poundstone in the first event. A little bit better here, though. Leads the way Take at 19.16 seconds. Ready! Well, you've got to be fleet of foot in this event too, Colin, haven't you? Oh, you certainly do, and we've seen Hollands is quick. 
He might be 30 stones in body weight, but he's a fast man, the former rugby player, and he's got a great start so far. This is a dominant performance for the man from Dartford, crosses the line, and that is very quick. He's certainly beaten that time of 19.16. And Pedersen over the line, 27.06 for the Icelander. Good performance by Hollands, 16.13. That is superb. Well, I just wonder whether Hollands could have gone quicker. I think he's thinking the same. As for Pedersen, he was right on the limit. He looks in pain. That was extremely heavy. Grimacing as he went along there. Well, as Hollands looked well in control. He's so well built for it. His ankles are as big as most people's thighs. Terry, much better performance. Talk us through that race. Yeah, it was a little bit unsteady at the beginning, but um, probably cost me a second, maybe. And um, But I picked up some nice speed towards the end. I was really pleased with the run. It's probably about the heaviest I've done in competition, so it was pretty tough. So you've got big ambitions this year. So how are you feeling after that solid performance? Um, yeah, not too bad. I'm just hoping it picks me up. Good few points. I was hoping for a, a couple more on the frame carry than I got, but hopefully I can pick it up. And obviously there's still a long way to go and I'll keep fighting until the last event. Welcome from Lithuania, Zadunas Zaviskas. Zaviskas will certainly want some of that Terry Holland's confidence if he's to move up the leaderboard after this event. And Brian Shaw, we know from previous experience that he's very good at carrying things. He is six foot eight inches tall, of course. Now, will that be Take an advantage position. or a disadvantage? We'll know Ready. in about 20 seconds' time. Zaviskas just gets away the quicker, but Brian Shaw is the first to show. But well, we're looking at the two favourites for this year's final going head-to-head, -head, and it's Shaw who's getting the better of Zaviskas. 16.13 to beat, and he's done it with time to spare. Great performance by the tall American. There was a great film once called The Quiet American. It reminds me of this guy. He just gets on with the job. Zaviskas there in third place behind Terry Hollands. But Brian Shaw, the current leader, can anybody beat that fantastic time? Well, it was just awesome. I thought Hollands at 16 seconds was fast and maybe the winner, but this two seconds quicker. He's jogging at the end there. Welcome from England, Lawrence Chalet. <laughs> Lawrence Chalet just behind Mike Jenkins after that first event. Jenkins yet Welcome to go here. USA, Mike Jenkins. And there he is, the winner of the first event. So, so quick over the ground. Can the American have a repeat and challenge Brian Shaw for the lead? Take your position. Well, Lawrence Charley, we know from previous experience too that he's got incredibly strong legs and he is the first to get away. He is, but it's Jenkins who's accelerating, Paul. Look at him, he's shifting through the gears here. And Charley is struggling a bit. Lawrence Charley just shaking a wee bit. 14.26, two hundredths of a second the difference. Wow. Well, small margins can mean big points. Lawrence Charley once again in the points. Fourth place this time. The Englishman is going well, but Jenkins absolutely flying. Looking better and better all the time. Well, Charlotte was away quicker in the beginning, but it was Jenkins who looked really in control, and goodness me, does he want the win. Two hundredths of a second separating the top two, but it's Jenkins with consecutive victories. Some fine performances from the Englishman too. Hollands and Charlet third and fourth. A perfect return so far then for Mike Jenkins. Top of the pile, maximum points. Charlet now shares second place with Brian Shaw, while Terry Hollands moves into fourth. The big surprise around the 400 acres of Wingate University is the performance of Zadruna Savikas, the Lithuanian languishing down in fifth place. Woohoo! Plenty of drama then in the opening two events of this finals of World Strongest Man 2011. Kaz, you're here again. Excellent. How about this then? Mike Jenkins, two for two. How big a surprise is this? Huge surprise. Let's hope that he's big enough to pull this truck. It's coming up very, very shortly now. We've got a very open field. Terry's up there. Lawrence as well, and of course, Brian Shaw. 
Yeah, Terry and Lawrence are doing great. Brian Shaw is a giant at 420. He's going to do very well. OK, you mentioned the truck. Tires involved once again. This time they're attached to a 10-ton beast. We know that Mike Jenkins is very good at this, don't we? Yes, he is. But it's whether or not he has enough weight uh, to pull it. All right, OK, because it's all about the size. That's a big, big factor in pulling this beast up the incline. It really is, and it's also about staying low, pulling hard, using the rope, and having the guts to finish it. Well, James this time telling us it is a beast. 10,000 kilograms, 10 metric tons, 75 seconds, the time limit. The course is 30 meters long, and to make matters worse, it's slightly uphill. Well, this is what has happened earlier. Lauren Charlet couldn't finish the course, only 27.8 meters. But Bjornsson became the first man to complete the course. Under a minute, 57.94 seconds. Good time for everybody else to try and beat. Well, this is the situation at the moment. Haftor Bjornsson of Iceland, 57.94. Lauren Charlet hanging on to second place just. But all that will change, I am sure. Zaviskas of Lithuania, twice world's strongest man in the past, surprising everybody by only being down in fifth place. And you heard in the introduction how important body weight is. Well, this guy certainly got an immense body weight to contribute towards pulling this giant truck. But he's starting on a very low heart rate, so he's cool, he's relaxed. It's gonna put his body to the absolute limit, this. 30 meters, only one man has finished so far. And he's coming up to the 15 meter mark now. His heart rate is surprisingly still low, Colin. Although you suspect as he gets towards the end of the course, and starts to have to pull it uphill slightly, that heart race is going to race away to the 200 mark. Well, I'm just amazed, Paul. This is what you'd call the aerobic zone still, where you're, you're burning oxygen. He should be up at 180, 185 now. Very impressive endurance for such a massive man. Well, let's remind you of the time to beat has just been passed, so Bjornsson is still in the lead. And Zaviskas has got to find big points from somewhere if he's to retain his title. The front of that truck has got to go over the line. He's well outside 70 seconds and just finishes now. 176 feet a minute, though, is still very impressive for a man of his size. 71.63. That could be good enough for second place, but as always, there are still some very strong men to come. You know, he just held his form so well there, Paul, as he came towards that final incline. He just kept driving, kept the momentum coming. Terry Hollands now in fourth place overall after the first two events. Now, certainly, he seems to have recovered from that first event. He ripped his hands. But this could affect him because he's going to have to pull on that rope at the front. And that will hurt for driving forward. Important to stay low here, Colin, to maintain good posture. So the technique is a factor as well. It is, and Hollands is in a great position here. He's getting his hips and legs into it. Very, very rarely do you see Terry Hollands beaten, even in a World's Strongest Man final at the truck pull. So expect to finish here, but how quick? Well, he's going strongly. He's like a puffer train there at the front, breathing hard. Heart rate up to 175. Clock ticking away, 40 seconds gone now. He's got to maintain momentum. Oh, it's just rocking and rolling a wee bit. So fatigue obviously setting in now. But he's got to drive through that pain barrier. How much has the Englishman got left? His legs have totally gone to jelly, Paul. He's still got over 15 seconds. Big mistake to throw away the rope. But right now, he's not thinking straight. Well, he's just hanging on and hanging on. He's going to be within the time limit, we think, although there's only five seconds to go. He's not going to complete the course, in fact. Oh, wow, absolutely out. That is a knockout, if you like. Currently in third place, just beating Lauren Charlet. His legs just started to turn to jelly at the end there, Paul, and his hands, too. He can barely grip the rope with fatigue. He chucks it away. He just had nothing else to give. From the USA, Brian Shaw. Brian Shaw, the tall American, just chalking his hands and hoping and praying that the rain will not arrive. There's lots of rain in the air. 
It has been raining earlier. Well, a staggering performance by Bjornsson. 57.94 is still the time to beat. He's getting this moving. He's one of the athletes that trains very hard at this. Not an easy one to organize and train on, on an afternoon. But he does. Very professional character. Great body position as well, Paul. And he's so heavy, 200 kilos. That'll be a help. He's got long levers too, being six feet, eight inches tall. And in fact, coincidentally, it's the two tallest men in the competition that are looking good. Bjornsson set the time that everybody is chasing. And Shaw, another man over six feet eight. Well, it's going to be close, but how much has Shaw got left? He's got a bit of time in hand. This is going to be desperately close. And he's missed it. Shaw has missed first place. And Bjornsson will be the winner. Glad to have finished. A staggering performance by Bjornsson in the end. But Brian Shaw gets second place. And that will certainly improve his position. Lovely stuff for the American. So, Bill Kazmaier's concerns about Mike Jenkins proved prophetic. The competition leader down in seventh place there. Brian Shaw earns another valuable second place, while Hollands and Charley continue their fine form. There's no doubt about the winner, though. Iceland's Hapthor Bjornsson. That slip by Jenkins in the truck ball means we have a new leader. Brian Shaw, a big favourite for the title, moving into top spot. Charlie and Hollands, meanwhile, are having an almighty battle for third, and Sir Vickers is creeping up the table. Can Shaw maintain his control of the final? Can one of our English athletes make a move on the top? All will be revealed after a short break. Well, that rain we mentioned ahead of the truck pull, here it is. Cliff, put that guitar away. World's Strongest Man, of course, stops for nothing, and on we go with the Max Deadlift. Usually a good event, this, for Lawrence Charley. Two rules for you. One, no umbrellas, but the athletes will be using straps, so the rain shouldn't affect their grip too much. And two, there's no maximum on the weight involved. They start off at about 345 kilograms, and it just keeps on going up and up and up until the last man standing. This is as close as you would get to a weightlifting competition. 30 seconds, that's the time limit for each lift, and the opening weight is a massive 345 kilos. And this is what's happened so far. Katona, 370 kilos. He ties for seventh place. The same result for Pedersen of Iceland. And Bjornsson, too. Mike Jenkins, surprisingly, 370. We thought he might go higher, but he did injure his back. Lalas of Lithuania, 400 kilos, sixth place on his own. Lawrence Charley, 415, the co-leader. Derek Poundstone came next. He struggled, but 415, equaled what Lauren Charley had achieved earlier. So a chance for Terry Hollands to steal a march. He's tied in fourth place after three events. That's a good start to World's Strongest Man final for Terry. It has been raining very hard. This would be for a new world record, Colin. 435 kilos, wow! And surely there is more to come. Well, I just can't believe it, Paul. The old world record, 430 kilos, held by Charley and Brian Shaw. Shaw still in the contest. But look at this. Hollands has put the pressure on the others. I wonder how much Zaviskas is feeling the pressure here. All of these guys, of course, want to take the title from him. The Viscous may have started as favourite, but he's yet to prove himself. Also trying to equal that world record now. And the champion makes good. Made it look easy in the end. 435 kilos, my goodness. That's 900 pounds plus. So two men have gone through now. Zaviscus, 
does it as well as Hollins, though. It didn't look as easy. Now it's Shaw's turn. Well, you get the distinct impression that there's only one man, the crowd, want to win this. And he's on the platform now. And can I just say, Paul, if he wants to be world's strongest man, you've got to have a massive deadlift. He's got to pull it further than anybody else, using his back far more than his legs on that last bit of the lift. Wow. He, too, goes over that world record figure of 430 kilos. Five kilos added to the world record by three men. Well, that is stunning. Look at the bar bending. His back bending, too. I wonder if he's worth much more. 440 kilos, a phenomenal weight. Another world record beckons for Terry Hollands, but more importantly, an advantage over Zaviskas and Shaw. Can Terry Hollands do it again? Well, he's got 30 seconds to complete it, but I think he's seen enough, and he says thank you very much. A best lift, though, is a new world record. You know, there's only so many times you can go to the bank right at the end of the World's Strongest Man finals in driving rain. That's just too much. What about Zidrunas Zaviskas? He's approached weights of varying sizes and shapes for new world records in the past and he's created over 30 strongman world records. This could be another one. But again, I would say, more importantly, it would be maximum points at the end of the day. He's got to keep pulling. He's got it above the knees. Needs to lock out. Oh, my goodness. That is the sign of a real champion. He looks relaxed, breathing a little bit at the moment, but he had to work so, so hard for that one. I have never seen Zaviskas struggle for a deadlift. He had to jack it up his thighs. That is right on the limit. Another kilo, and he wouldn't have done it. The champion is making a charge now. Can Brian Shaw equal what the Lithuanian has just achieved? We had three men breaking the old world record. Three men attempting this new figure of 440 kilos. Only one man has done it. He's on the sidelines looking very carefully here at Brian Shaw. Oh, just gets it to below his knees and couldn't quite get it to where Zaviskas pulled it a few moments ago. He got it up to the knees and then inch by inch edged it up his thighs. Finished. That is it. We have a champion deadlifter. His name is Zaviskas, and Brian Shaw ties for second place with Terry Hollands. Well, if he did got it just another inch higher there, Paul, above his knees, he could have jacked it up his thighs like Zaviskas did. Once you miss it the first time, there's no chance a second time. There's run us another world record. Congratulations. But that's the first time we've seen you work quite that hard, I think. How difficult was it? Thank you very much. It was a real, really hard record. Uh, it was uh, my maximum deadlift for today, for sure. Coming up next is the log lift, which is a very strong event for you. You have another world record there. How are you feeling about the defence of your title? Uh, I still have a good chance and I have good events. It will be a hard uh, fight until last last event. Incredible brute strength from the top six athletes, all at 400 kilos or more, with Shaw, Hollands and Savickas all breaking the previous strongman world record of 430 kilos. Phenomenal. The Lithuanian has cut Shaw's lead now by one point and has his best event still to come. There's nothing to choose between Hollands and Charlet, the two Englishmen going all out for that final podium place. Shaping up to be one of the all-time classic finals. We stay at Wingate University for our next event. It's the Log Press. So the next event is another old World Strongest Man favourite, the overhead press or the log lift. Despite the rain, the crowd is certainly in good spirits. There are the rules. 
another time limit of 75 seconds, and the apparatus weighing 155 kilos. Absolutely amazing, as many repetitions as possible. Disappointment, though, for the USA's Mike Jenkins. We said he had a back problem in the previous event. He's had to withdraw. Welcome from England. So Lauren Charley in equal third place at the moment in this final. It's quite cool, calm and collected. He's up against his old arch rival, fellow Englishman, Terry Holland. Finished third in World's Strongest Man in 2007. Now, this is what has happened so far. Seven Take repetitions for both Lalas and Poundstone. They lead. Here we go. Off the ground, onto the thighs, onto the shoulders, then push it ahead. Terry Hollands gets one, so does Lauren Charley. Steady start for both of them. Yeah, they're both very good log pressers. Charley has the British record now at 190 kilos. Hollands already looks like he's cramping in his back. That's not a good sign for a 75 second event. You think this is an event where the rain could be a problem or should they be okay? Well, I think they'll be fine as long as they don't try and split their legs too much when they jerk it overhead. But Charley on this third one, goodness me, I don't know if he's seeing stars, what's happening to him, but he's really struggling. I mean, this is the end of the World's Strongest Man final, so fatigue is a massive factor now. Well, once again, Terry Hollands just creeps one ahead of Lauren Charley. But it's great to have two Englishmen in this final. Now, Terry Hollands on his way to number five, but the clock is ticking away. Can he get it before the whistle goes? Yes, he can, just. Good lift, it's okay, just in. Good lift, the referee says, Hollands five, Charley four. What a great competition, head to head, two Englishmen, and they certainly gave value for money. Lauren Charley there, fourth place. Terry Hollands in third. Remember, we've got two athletes who've lifted it seven times so far. Well, Charley was in all kinds of trouble just from his third rep onwards. But Hollands couldn't have hit it more perfect. That fifth rep right on the buzzer. Terry, great result. Five repetitions, putting you just ahead of Lawrence there. So how did that feel for you? Yeah, really good. I mean, that's what I was hoping for coming into it, five reps. It's a really tricky log because it's so long. When it's up on your chest, the balance is really tough. Obviously, there's some amazing presses here. I knew what I was capable of, I thought five, so really happy with that. That's great. You seem to have a little problem with that left arm locking it out. What was the problem there? Yeah, just um, tweaked my lat a little bit on the deadlift and had a bit of pain in the back of my shoulder, but, you know, it's just a case of just fighting through and obviously just having to put a bit more pressure and suffer the pain of it. That podium position's looking pretty tasty now, especially with Mike pulling out. Yeah, definitely, and going into the stones, I feel pretty confident. Um, obviously, these two guys are unbelievable, and for me to catch them at this point would be really tough, but I'll keep trying, and that podium spot is looking good. The leader after the first four events. Chasing his first World's Strongest Man title, of course. But he's got to get past this man, Zaviskas. Not too many people have won three straight World's Strongest Man finals in the past. And that is what the Lithuanian is trying to do. It's seven to beat to go into first place. Well, Zaviskas in that last event, Colin, really came alive. But he's got a man next to him, the giant Brian Shaw, who is so strong in his shoulders. He's not giving this title up easily, Sabiscus. And this is probably his favourite event. He's just a massive presser. Shaw's doing well to live with him at the moment. But look at this, barely any leg push, all triceps and shoulders. Well, Zaviskas has equaled what Lauren Charley has done and, in fact, now has gone past Terry Hollands. Brian Shaw wants five as well. But Zaviskas is keeping up the rate extremely well. He's gone to six, and Shaw is struggling on number five. But it's Shaw, who we thought was the fitter man, who's struggling here. And this for the lead. Zaviskas gets it. And that is a superb performance. Wins two events in a row. Can Brian Shaw equal what Terry Hollands did? 
Zaviskis goes to number nine. Well, he hasn't stopped. I don't know why. Shaw really needs that fifth one. That is vital there. Zaviskis going to do another one? <laughs> Wrong time to showboat. I guess he doesn't know what time or how many he's done. He's just putting on a show now. Absolutely wonderful stuff. A massive display of strength. And those are the broadest and certainly the most powerful shoulders on display here in the United States. Brian Shaw ties for fourth place with those five repetitions. Well, Brian Shaw just hit the wall after that fourth rep. He was lucky to get the fifth rep. But Saviskas still going away strong at double figures. Unbelievable. Three better than anyone else. So Savickas grinding out two unnecessary reps. Was he just trying to intimidate his American rival? Shaw can only manage joint fourth. Hollands finishes ahead of Charlet again. And that means a big shift at the top. Shaw and Savickas now neck and neck on 40 points. Terry Hollands is on his own in that third podium position. Just one and a half points ahead, though, of his fellow Briton. What an incredible competition this has been, and things couldn't be tighter at the top with four men fighting it out. So Vickers and Shaw are in the box seats with just one event to go now. After the break, the Atlas Stones will decide World's Strongest Man 2011. Welcome back, everyone, to the final of World's Strongest Man 2011. Well, Big Z and Brian Shaw, we couldn't separate them last year. We can't separate them this year either after five events. So it all comes down to this, the Atlas Stones. You know the drill here, five giant rocks. They all need putting on top of plinths. The only thing is we've now upped the ante. The biggest of them is 200 kilograms. That's the heaviest we've ever had on World's Strongest Man. It all comes down to this. Thanks, James. What a climax we have. There we have the two guys tied at the top of the table on 40 points each. But the battle for the podium between two Englishmen is enthralling too. Terry Hollands, he's perhaps got the edge, being in third place. Ahead of Lauren Charley. And wouldn't Lauren Charley like to get on the podium in one of the top three places? Well, here is the current situation. Three men have lifted all five stones, including that massive 200 kilo last stone. The fastest of the times, 24.35. Here we go. This Ready? for a spot on the podium, perhaps. Who's your favorite, Colin? Well, it's definitely Hollands who's the favorite in stones. He's a taller man, but Charlie's worked very hard at them in the past. Well, Terry Hollands is playing catch up here. He was behind after the first, but he's gradually edging ahead of Lauren Charley. 200 kilos, that final stone. It's the heaviest stone I've ever seen. And Hollands gets it. A fine performance. Terry Hollands is on the rostrum. Dartford's pride and joy. And Lauren Charley will finish outside the top three, but I think he's done himself proud here. And a nice moment there. Holland's offering him some of the uh, tacky glue from the back of his hand. Helps you stick to these stones. Charlet pops up number four. He doesn't actually need number five to keep his fourth place position, which he will now be in. Still much better than his previous ninth place slot. This has not been a bad campaign for Lauren Charlet. Ah, what a way to finish. Unfortunately, after all the success, Lauren Charley's last event finishes in failure, but he can still be very proud indeed. Well done, Lawrence, and well done, especially to Terry Hollands. Well, this match is Holland's best finish ever. These five stones in 26 seconds gets him back on the podium. He was there in 2007 when we were in California. He's there again, finishes it in style. Well done, Terry. Terry, congratulations, you're on the podium for the second time. Describe how it feels. Oh, it's fantastic. It's been a tough few years since I last got on the podium and a um, few injuries and a few bad performances here and there and um, also my own laziness a few times. But I've worked hard this year and I knew I'd come in with a good chance of getting top three and I'm just so pleased I've actually managed it. Me and Lawrence are great friends as well as being rivals and um, I really wanted to beat him, you know, in a friendly way as well. It's, I mean... I'm just over the moon. It's absolutely amazing to get back on the podium. 
It's all come down to this, as James said earlier. And what a fantastic climax to this year's World's Strongest Man competition. There is one of the all-time greats, Zidrinus Zaviskas. A Lithuanian hero up against the giant, the mighty Brian Shaw from the United States. Equal on points. But whoever wins this one surely will be the champion. Shaw sprinting away, almost dunks that first ball on top of the platform. And Zaviskas at the moment is a whisker behind. Well, what a way to finish. The legendary Atlas Stones will find out who is the true world's strongest man. And it looks like Shaw. He's going to win it, and he wins it well. That is a champion's performance. And the two-time champion is beaten at the last. And Brian Shaw had to produce the performance of his life to become the 2011 Metrix World's Strongest Man. His first title, and I don't think it will be his last. And he acknowledges the great contribution to this competition and many more by Zydrina Savisca. Well, what a way to finish, Paul. A 200 kilo stone, the heaviest ever in World's Strongest Man history. Zaviskas wasn't far behind, but he's beaten by the better man today. Brian, that was absolutely incredible. I've never seen anyone do it that fast. And the emotion to win your first World's Strongest Man. Tell us about it. Honestly, it's just it's a great feeling. You know, it's, it's hard to, it's really hard to put into words when, uh, you know, one of your life goals and dreams comes true and, and uh, you know, I've got so many good people that have helped me out with, uh, you know, with this along the way. And, and, you know, God has just blessed me so much with my size and my ability. Uh, it feels great. Well, you are king of the stones. Did that give you the confidence that you could beat Z in that, that event or was it still open in your mind? Um, no, it wasn't open. You know, I, I knew going in, I had a really, really good feeling uh, that, that I could, you know, really run through these stones quickly. And, uh, you know, that's exactly what I did. That was normal for me. And, and uh, you know, I, I couldn't be happier. And how do you feel to see your great friend Terry Hollands on the podium with you? Oh, it's great. It's, it's wonderful. Terry and I have been really good friends for a number of years now, and I couldn't be happier for him. Incredible. All five stones, including the biggest ever at World's Strongest Man, in under 20 seconds, nearly five seconds ahead of his closest rival. Most importantly, though, Shaw faster than Zadruna Savickas, and that ensures the American top spot, two points ahead of the Lithuanian. Terry Hollands confirmed in the final podium place, comfortably ahead in the end of Lawrence Charley. Well, that brings us to the end of the tournament then. What a tournament it's been as well. We've seen records broken, we've seen reputations made, we've seen the most exciting competition we've ever had. Congratulations to everyone who took part, but in particular to Brian Shaw, World's Strongest Man. The 2011 Metrics World's Strongest Man from the USA, Brian Shaw.